What's up everybody, Zach McDonald, your real estate agent with Real Property Associates, and I've got with me Bill Kessler from Beresford Booth. Thanks for joining us today, Bill. Thank you for having me. Cool, well, if you don't mind, can you introduce yourself so everybody can get to know you a little bit, and then we'll kind of jump into the interview a little bit. Sure, uh, again, my name's Bill Kessler. I'm a business and real estate lawyer at the firm of Beresford Booth. Uh, we are in downtown Edmonds. Um, I do a lot of uh, business law on the transactional side, as well as the litigation side, and I do a lot of real estate law on both the transactional um, and uh, litigation side. And have worked uh, with Zach for several years, and happy to, to be here to talk uh, with you guys a bit about uh, tenancies in common and LLCs and, and uh, people uh, buying properties together in general, I think. If we were to address a situation where there's a business, business partners buying a property together, mm -hmm. Now I start to think about, is there is that where you bring in an LLC versus a tick? Mm -hmm. When when do we start to when do we start to differentiate between the two? Because an LLC is an entity, mm -hmm. whereas that the tick is more of a, a contract on how things are handled. Are there situations where you have both? Mm -hmm. Are there situations where you would prefer to do an LLC and create an entity versus having the the tick agreement? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. So they, I think the example that you're given is uh, change it up so our our wives and we are not buying a place to, to live and together, but you and I are, are, are buying an investment piece of property for uh, to put a tenant in, yep. right? Okay, so we're going to buy a single family home, we're, we're going to pool our resources and, and, and put a tenant in there. Um, and the answer is almost certainly you'd want to own that in an LLC or you and I would want to own that, mm -hmm. that property in an LLC, uh, which is a limited liability company is mm -hmm. the, the acronym. Um, so the, a lot of people would think of having that, that situation where the two couples are buying together and living together. They'd be like, well, why don't you put that in an LLC? Mm -hmm. The short answer is there's a lot of tax disadvantages to putting your primary residence in an LLC and you also lose it's called a homestead exemption. So you, you actually, uh, you're actually exposed to more liability and, and cost by putting your primary residence into an LLC. Mm -hmm. It's the short answer. Um, my partner uh, on our firm's website, my partner has a, a really nice, succinct little uh, uh, blog post on that. So, but the moral of the story is don't put your, don't put your primary residence into an LLC uh, versus what Zach's talking about now, which is us buying together as a... Um, uh, as an investment, and in that situation, uh, almost certainly we're going to want an LLC. Okay. So uh, for for li for asset protection purposes, an LLC um, is uh, uh, it, it's a uh, it's a person for legal purposes. It has its own liability, mm -hmm. and if you form it the right way and you operate it the right way, then the liability of the LLC doesn't go outside of the assets inside of the LLC. And in this case, it's going to be a single purpose, single asset LLC. The only thing in it is gonna be the property, the investment property that, that we've purchased together. Yep. Um, and uh, so that that's, so that, to answer your question, yeah, we, we want an LLC and, and not a tick. The LLC provides, uh, provides that liability protection, mm -hmm. whereas the tick does not. Yep. Um, now functionally, the, there's a contract called an LLC agreement, which you'll, you'll hear called an operating agreement. And the operating agreement and, and an LLC agreement, same thing. Mm -hmm. um, but they also, an, an, an LLC agreement and a TIC are functionally the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, they answer most of the same questions. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, I suppose TICs could deal with specifics of, of the, the relationship, the, the, the physical living together relationship and who's able to access what part of the house and when. And you can get kind of specific in a TIC mm -hmm. that way, which is great. Uh, with an LLC, not really as necessary. Um, to, to get into those details because you, you don't have those details, but the LLC still, the LLC agreement or operating agreement still answers the same basic questions um, about uh, the, the what if questions that I went through before about um, people having disagreement about the operation of, mm -hmm. of, that, of the business, the rental business. Um, so the LLC defines the relationship, but it also creates some legal protections that the TIC doesn't. Correct. Correct. So um, if you, again, you operate the LLC the right way, you own uh, the property in it, you have a bank account for the LLC, you have your, your LLC agreement governing, governing that relationship. Um, 
the uh, uh, the lease you have with your tenant is the landlord is the LLC. It's not Zach and Bill together. It's yeah. it's our LLC. Mm -hmm. It's again, it's its own person. And kind of the simplest way to think about it is if if we treat the LLC as its own person with its own uh, w with its with its own assets and its own. Uh, ability to do things legally, if we treat it that way, then the court is going to treat it that way. Um, I always tell people an LLC is like a hurdle. Um, I describe it as a hurdle between uh, between your assets, say your house and your own personal bank accounts, and a plaintiff's lawyer. <laughs> and that plaintiff's lawyer is trying to jump over that hurdle and get into your personal assets in a lawsuit. And the, the better the LLC is formed, um, the more cleanly it is formed and the and the more cleanly it is operated uh, while the while it's existing the more cleanly you operate and correctly you operate that that business in the LLC the higher that hurdle becomes mm -hmm. and it's it's not an absolute bar but it becomes awfully hard to clear when mm -hmm. you do things the right way as the LLC owner so that's that's the that's like that's the, the third way the LLC mm -hmm. Beautiful. Thanks so much for watching this video interview with Bill Kessler and talking a little bit about the different entities and ways to buy real estate together. I hope this video was super valuable for you. And if you want to talk more about buying and selling real estate here in Washington State, I'd love to be a resource for you. And if you want to talk with Bill a little bit more about how to structure a purchase or um, come up with some of these agreements that he mentioned in the video, I'm going to link up his contact information below and you can always reach out to me for it as well.